He's Cole Hauser. He is uh, one of the stars of season two of Rogue. That's airing May 28th on DirecTV's Audience Network, Channel 239. He joins us here. We'll get to Rogue in a moment here. Okay. But you have so many of these roles in such great movies, iconic movies. You know, if I'm ask, if Days and Confused, mm. Goodwill Hunting. Yeah. What would what would come up first if somebody said, "Aren't you the guy?" And or they would ask you about that movie in general. It kind of depends where you are in the country, actually. But I um, mean, if I'm in Boston, it's it's Goodwill Hunting. If I'm, uh, you know, in New York, it's probably Higher Learning. Um, Days and Confused, definitely in Austin. <laughs> what was that like? Um, I mean, how old were you doing Days and Confused? I was actually 17. Yeah, I was the proper age, you know, and, and a lot of the guys were. You know, it was 17 to 19 years old, most of the actors. But McConaughey was the He was the, the older. The star. Yeah, he was 21. <laughs> he was the one buying beer. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you think would be a star from that cast? You know, I never, it never occurred to me. I mean, when you do those movies, especially as a kid, like when I did School Ties, you know, I did it with Matt and Ben and Brendan Fraser and Chris O'Donnell and all these guys. But we weren't thinking in those terms. We were just trying to make the greatest film we could, you know. When did you know Dazed and Confused had sort of this cult-like following? It's funny, yes, because when it came out, Gramercy released it, and it came and went. I mean, it was a weekend, literally. So it made no money in the theaters. But when I realized it was a real success, was I was walking through Blockbuster back in the day, and it, it was attached to Fast Times at Richmond High. And I was like, oh, my God, Dazed and Confused and Fast Times together in a box cassette? That's when I was like, this is uh, obviously doing very well as far as a cult classic, you know. But you have, um, you know, Damon and Affleck and, and Robin Williams yeah. in Good Will Hunting. Yeah. So you sort of walk in. Now, Damon and Affleck <laughs> weren't known at the time. They weren't household names. Well, Matt had done Rainmaker, which was a pretty big film with Coppola, but yeah. So then you have Robin Williams in there. He's a riot. Did I mean, you everybody migrate to Robin Williams and let him be Robin Williams? Every lunch we'd sit down and just let him go, and he'd just go into this routine. I mean, he's... As soon as people have come around him, he just turns it on. He's, it's, it's unbelievable how he just, I mean, he'll start just doing just song and dance, and it's just, you just can't help but fall out of your chair. He's out of his mind. <laughs> Comedy is so tough. You know, I, Kevin Bacon was here earlier in the week, and, you know, we, we, we don't really honor comedy, but it's yeah. the toughest thing to do. Why? I believe, yeah. But why, why don't we honor those who do it well? I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm friends with Vince Vaughn and, you know, some of these great comics. You and, had a great line know. in the breakup. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you I, had, I, Paulie, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Paulie loves that line. I walked right up to him like a dork. I'm like, arrest him for what, babe? Being awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. used to, we used to actually say that to each other for, you know, for years. Well, they made T-shirts. I, I, he told me that. Yeah, you can buy T-shirts. You're not getting a cut. Where's my T-shirt? I'll work on it. You're going to order one for me? <laughs> I love that line. But when you go in there with those guys, mm -hmm. you try to keep up with them at, at a comedic level, or no. can you? No. I mean, I think where Vince is funnier and, and some of these comics that I appreciate is, it, you know, it comes from the seriousness. You know, I mean, he's so intent on what he's doing, you know, especially in the breakup. If you watch him, he's so serious about the stuff he's talking about that it's insane. You know, so that's where the comedy comes from. So with my character, Lupus Garboski, his brother, I just try to emulate him. Do you get to pick <laughs> your name in movies? No, but this Polak name was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lupus Garboski. <laughs> I mean, well, what a lunatic name that yeah, is. Yeah, I always wonder when they go, this is your name in your movie. Yeah. And you go, I don't want to be that name. I've, I've changed a few names, trust me, over time. Yeah. <laughs> He's Cole Hauser, the um, role in uh, season two, airing May 28th on DirecTV's Audience Network. Are you a really bad guy? In what, in what way? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, no, no. yeah. I'm sorry. We had a conversation before we went on the radio. My yes. bad. Okay. On TV. Um, in no. Rogue. I, I, I think, you know, the great thing about Ethan Kelly, my character, is he's not a bad guy. I mean, he did four tours in Afghanistan and, and Iraq. You know, he's a decorated soldier. Um, he comes back to America to try to, you know, sort out his life and start a company, a private security company for corporate espionage. And, you know, uh, him and his friends are, are going along, you know, doing well. And, you know, some things go wrong that I can't really tell you or divulge because it would give away the show. But, uh, and the FBI becomes interested. There was Tanya Newton's character. She plays a rogue FBI agent. And it kind of unfolds over 10 episodes. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful show. Matthew Parkhill wrote a great, great script. And um, I look forward to seeing what the response is. How nervous are you going to be in the Beach Bowl? I'm not nervous right now. I mean, 
I mean, you should. One be. of the legendary guys I want to meet is Joe Montana, and you know I grew up watching him. Um, I'm actually an Oakland Raider, but I watched him beat us for many, many years when I was a kid. So. Would you tear up if you caught a pass from Joe Montana? No. During warmups? No, I you I, would not. I wouldn't tear up. No, I don't cry, honey. Not on well, unless it's on unless, cue. Unless you pay me. Yeah. Could you cry right now? No. I could. <laughs> okay, go. No, no, I, I, I but, but I. De Niro taught this to me, yeah. so I, yeah. I'll show Did you sometime. Did Niro come on the show? I'll, I'll show you. Was he just like this? Yeah. yeah. Cole is oh, yeah. star of season two of Rogue and airs me. 28 direct TV on Network. 239. <laughs>